I think that in most of science, there is not yet room for miracles. Um, I think science always wants to um, have an empiric reason for everything. And when science doesn't have that reason, when it can't be explained by what we know so far, by physics or by, you know, some, any number of different disciplines, if, they, if none of the disciplines can explain it, then science doesn't know what to do with it. Uh, which is not to say that it won't eventually be understood. I feel that sometimes science is very short-sighted in these ways, but I think it's getting better and more open to trying to explore some of these realms than that used to be, and probably because of the change in over the generations of people coming into science used to be some, well, anyway, kind of like my surgical mentors. They were very paternalistic and arrogant and you know, only believed that they had any idea of how to do things. So there are more people that are trying to understand the world in a highly diversified way, and so things may change to try to understand it better. That, that's probably as good as I'll get it with that. Yeah, and, and I think I'll, I'll also add um, that I, I think um, science may not have any business to say one way or the other. I think a lot of what I try to, to, to point out to folks is that it is by definition agnostic. We can talk about the definition and whether that should change, but mm -hmm. by definition it is agnostic with respect to the supernatural and to miracles, right? So any claim about whether or not supernatural can happen by purely scientific tools is an overreach, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so that, that's what I would say is that it gives room for the miraculous, even if it isn't necessarily subsuming the miraculous. Mm -hmm. yeah. One other thing is even within the last hundred years, what, what things have changed dramatically. Many, 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 many invisible things that we didn't understand, that phenomena, have now we understand. We understand microwaves, we understand uh, gamma rays, we understand any infrared, we understand UV light. We, there's so many things out there that we were out there and we didn't know, you know? Our, our grandparents didn't know they were out there and if a phenomena happened secondary to one of those things, they'd probably be like, oh, that was something really spiritual or weird or whatever. And yet, so, so what I'm saying is that our understanding of our universe continues to expand and things may be understood later. Yeah, I totally agree. And I would also add that um, I, I usually get a little nervous when science makes claims that are beyond its purview. Mm -hmm. So if it's saying that miracles can't happen, or if it's saying that one day we will definitely explain all mm -hmm. miracles, both, although I'm not disagreeing no, whatsoever agree. with the agree. fact that it I can potentially agree. explain more, um, but the, the, the notion that it, all things are natural at the end of the day and therefore we'll get there um, is, I think, equally problematic to the, the, the notion of there is no such thing as anything beyond the material, so it must not be real. I think both are potentially problematic, which puts science, again, in the sort of humble posture of we can do this really well. Anything we can measure or quantify, right? Science has got really good tools and is well equipped to be able to tackle those. And beyond that, I think there should just be an openness. Mm -hmm.